Why would I want to modify my screwdriver when I'm working with electronics? What kind of problems do people usually run into when they're working with fine screws and screwdrivers? How are the sizes designated? And what can we do to improve on the process and save a lot of hassle? This is a short video to talk through a few of those points and I think will help a lot of mechatronics students, so take a look. Phillips drivers come in different sizes. This is one, two, three, and two is the most common shape for household stuff. See how pointy the number one is? That's for smaller stuff. I don't like Dewalt because this area is so girthy, it makes you feel like you've picked up a, a number two, and once it's dirty or scratched, you can't recognize it's a one. You can easily strip out a screw or just have a hard time using a one for a typical screw. Every single one of these construction screws is for pH two. You can see here, that fits like a glove. All right, you get down to smaller things and you can wind up with a Phillips zero, okay? And this is nice because it keeps the friction. Um, now, this is a modified, boy, my fingers are dirty, Phillips Zero. And it's modified because it almost always works out better this way. Thanks to a company called Dinkle. Yeah, this is a DIN rail terminal made by Dinkle. I learned a very difficult lesson about Phillips One and Phillips Zero. The data sheet actually says that this is supposed to take a Phillips uh, one. But if you buy a Phillips one from almost any supplier, you're gonna find out that it doesn't like to fit inside the screw hole. And it literally on the data sheet for the, the shank is described for all these data sheets. The, sh the hole is described for the Dinkle terminal and it don't wanna go. So what you do is you grab your PH zero screwdriver that has a smaller shank. Ugh. And then it's going to get you, after you file it down, a cross section that's much more similar to PH one. However, your shank will fit inside this thing. And it's just as useful for all the other little small DIY electronics. I'm telling you, this is a game changer because when you use the wrong size, uh, like if you just use the plain PH zero, you will strip out that little screwdriver in there. Or even worse, you won't strip anything, but you'll limit the torque when you tighten it down and then your terminals can be loose. And then you can just have 240 volts or something like that just floating around. Okay, let's set aside the nerd stuff and go back to the normal people stuff. If you're building an Ikea desk or just assembling something, okay, using the right size, is important because if it matches, then you can drive the screw with the amount of torque that is intended by the designers. Okay, and this is a PH3 for a fat uh, M6 machine screw, all right? And when they put a very small Phillips size on there, it's because they want to limit how much torque you can apply before this thing slips out. They would much rather have you strip a screw or something like that instead of drive that screw so far into the assembly that you crack the assembly. Lastly, flat heads are designated with numbers too, and it's usually the number of millimeters in width of the head.